Alright everyone, she can hold on here reporting for the product review. So today I kinda try to do something a bit different and I need to do something real quick here, but yeah. So let's get on to the product then. So we have uh well this is not new but a set of steering wheel and complete with the pedals and the shifter here this is the cowboy uh bleh. okay cowboy t600s which is quite an old product to be honest and yeah i bought this from another player basically which just sold me offer from the other island that uh, from other island and then send it to me just in a few days and well I'm kinda in a hurry so let's get a bit closer here so this is the steering wheel it is such a small steering wheel to be honest and for comparison this is my hand pretty big I mean well if there is a scale maybe it's kinda close to the F1 steering wheel that that those racers always holding on uh, yeah there's the start button it's basically based on PS2 and you'll see it real quick and then we have this shifter here complete with the handbrake and the shifter is a sequential not uh, a shifter so that's not a big problem to be honest but well, that means I have to try to learn a bit of sequential here. And then we have the pedals. Of course, this is acceleration. It's pretty solid, despite the fact that it's an old model, because I believe Cowboy doesn't sell this product anymore. They have a newer one. And then there is the brake, which is a lot stiffer than I expect. But that's a good thing because it's pretty short here. See? It's not that long. And well, let's try to look at the back here. The guy is went into all the trouble to back the cable. And I'll try to open it with one hand. Okay, let me pick a knife real quick well hobby knife all right already <clears throat> cut most of the stuff here so let's have a look on the part here which is because this is an interesting because this is such an old product here so right here it is this is the main part from the steering wheel which they have the plug for ps1 or 2 here because, well, this is such an old generation. I kind of miss my PS1 or PS2 or PSX. Yeah. Either of that. It's been such a long time, to be honest. And kind of sad because the PS2 is ceased production. And then we have the USB. And it's all in one part like this. That's really interesting and kind of cool actually, but well, I don't think you'll use it anymore, uh, this thing, because well, it's the era of PlayStation 3 and 4, maybe 5 soon. And on the shifter, we have this plug here. Okay, I, I don't think you can kind of focus it, but okay, let me try. There we go. It has some pins inside and then there is the one for the pedals as well now those two are going to be connected to here I don't know which one is which but I'll try that later and well now let's talk about a bit of the steering adjustability because it's really interesting they have a mechanical lock here and right now it won't be able to be moved around but if we try to do this 
now it moves but it's as you can see it's quite heavy i mean look i mean i tried to just do it and it just won't fall okay, let's lock that up for now and then over here we have the lock for the telescopic steering and go down is to unlock it and now you can go do that and okay come on let's try yep there we go see it's nice touch for an old technology here but well there we go a lot the buttons well we'll figure it's just buttons just as you know so yeah there you go the cowboy t600 after this i'm gonna show you how it feels trying to steer it so yeah all right then i've done setting up my steering wheel here so as you can see i unpurposely put it on reverse because there is a slot down there that utilize this piece right here so i cannot use the handbrake but i don't use that anyway because well the handbrake is pretty much just a button well this whole piece is basically if you push it it's basically a button for you to use and then the steering wheel i it only stay on the suction cup that i have currently so doesn't have a whole lot of grip so i can kind of move it side to side like that so maybe i'll buy some clamp or something just to hold it up well yes i know i'm very cheap but still and then we have the pedal down there well the pedal can be moved as i want to and since i'm playing it just like an arcade game most of the time i use both of my feet I know it's not recommended to use a left foot braking, but it's just a game, so I'm fine with that. So yeah, those are the setup that I'm ready for, and see what it can do on the game. All right, then first thing first, we're gonna do some setting up again here as well. I've been fiddling it around, and well, still come to know a file because there is a bit problem with this game. When I tried it, but well, we have the throttle there and the braking there. Yes, it's a combined one, so if I push both of them, it's basically just letting off everything with the clutch. So, yeah, and then we have the button here because it's basically the same thing with the this. So, I can play both with the sort of a pedal shifter style even though it's a button shifter on this one and then sequential because i made it in reverse so that's a good thing uh, yeah let's see let's start config configure our settings and press a button here move your steering wheel in any direction yeah let's move set up your steering wheel here we go. Turn our steering wheel 90 degrees to the right. Yes. And then the wheel rotation lock is from 179 because it comes from zero. Because, well, that's how computer works. So it's basically a 180 steering wheel. If you want to say. Uh, yes. And then I have to hold the throttle pedal all the way down. It works. Release the pedal. I already released it. Oh, oh, got it. I pressed the wrong button. I press back. <laughs> I pressed the pedal twice. Hold the throttle pedal all the way down. Done. Release the pedal. Now I have to hold the brake pedal all the way down. For some reason it's activated the throttle right now. Ah, 
Okay. Now it got combined like that. Oh god. I may have to redo the setup here. Release the battle, of course. I'll skip that. Alright. Oh god damn it. I have to reset everything, aren't I? <sighs> Fine. Alright then. Press the button for the sequential jump up shift. Let's go down for now and then up. I don't have the A shifter, so I have to step on the throttle. Yeah, I need to redo it. Alright then, let's do that again. Let's the steering wheel in the direction. There we go. Center the steering wheel, already done. Uh, turn your steering wheel, and then it to the bike. Done. Got the wheel rotation lock. Lock. And then I have to hold the pedal all the way down. And continue, and release the pedal. Done. And then hold the brake. Yeah, the, it doesn't detect that much on this game. Yep, there we go, release it, and just put the configuration complete, and then as before, up shift, down shift, and we, we're done. So, so it's basically, I can just use the button here if I want to, as you can see there, because it's basically programmed the same with the shifter here. It's a sequential, not a light shifter, so yeah, you have to keep that in mind. Right, let's apply that. So it's basically a raw input, but the problem is if I try to immediately use this setup here, the brake won't attack, so I have to redo that here real quick. There we go. And yeah. This is already a setup from before, so I'll just save it here. Right then, let's jump into the track here. So I'll see you on the track. All right, now we're on Laguna Seca with the good old classic Group B Audi Quattro. So yeah. What's best that we can do and we have a sequential shift and a steering wheel with only 180. It's basically just asking for a rally cars. So yeah, we have this. Right, so let's try steering. Well, of course, it's not gonna fit. I only have 180, but the Audi has more, which is, I believe, 900 or 72. It's probably 72, I'm not too sure about it. So it's not a pretty solid movement here, but well, I can go with that. The brake is active there, as you can see on the top left. So, uh, yeah, it's a pretty short travel because I'm not even all the way down and, it, and it's already on a max braking there. And then there's the throttle. like that it has a bit of a dead zone by itself so you don't need to set up a dead zone I mean yeah and then you can go a bit and go up there to all the way 100s but it's a pretty short travel well because this is a cheap one so yeah all right then let's go breaks there but I, we're not go out yet so the problem with this game I have I'm having right now is the turn to be honest because every time I try to press the throttle the steering just move to correct itself 
for some reason. And this steering doesn't have force feedback, so it's kind of hard. So. Okay, let me fix the fo position again. So now, as you can see here, I'm not even pressing the throttle and the steering wheel seems fine, right? So, if I try to full throttle it like so, it just moves slightly. So, okay, I'll show you on the next corner there, the one on our front right now. Now, this corner is fine until I step onto the throttle. As you can see there, it's, it's probably had to do with the assist most of the time. So, it's kind of difficult to play as it occurs with the steering, so, unless you found the Proper setting that hey, it's a cheap one, so all you have to do is put a tap. So you still can do the in out in, but you may not, you cannot do the usual. Okay, that's a bad move there. But yeah, as you can see there, the steering just correct itself. Maybe it has to do with the force feedback, I don't know. I asked the forward but well it's kinda of problematic so I don't think I'm gonna go back for to the escape of for a while until I found the proper setup so I can play it properly. But yeah the steering wheel is quite solid if it has a clamp but I don't have it so yeah, it's it's a bit difficult to control it with the current situation. So yeah. There you go. I break too early there, but it's fine. Well, one tactic that you can do is to blip the throttle a bit. Just like when you have a heavy foot. So, uh, yeah. It's pretty much like that. Oh no. Yeah, but that's how it works on Stokosa, but it's kind of nice to have it have the assist on the strike like that because you may want to have some adjustability a bit with the where you go so yeah right on to the next game because I only have two so this will be the last one I'll see you there all right now we're on dirt 3 which is my other racing games. Well, I actually have the grid, but well, grid is I haven't really installed that. But now we're on the tray, the complete edition, and here we have the setup here that I already set it up. Like basically, just replace the button with your steering buttons. Well, buttons because one of them is analog, basically. So uh, yeah, pretty much everything is already set. So let me uh, check the shift up and down. Where is it? Alright, let's have a quick look. Is the gear up? Is oh yeah, I put that in reverse last time. So. That's gonna be a problem. Right. I'm not sure what the button for is, but that's a thing. And well, the advanced wheel settings, I use it like this because it has such a small 
travel that you that having a dead zone is pretty much a dead sentence for you and the saturation is pretty small because well it's 180 most rally cars doesn't have all the steering angle and we accept the last one that I play which is the quattro and the linearity I put it on zero throttle dead zone basically zero because it doesn't have well it's already have the dead zone so you don't really need to but you may need to put the saturation a bit higher for this throttle and brake so yeah those are done let's go then oh Oh, really? What happens now? For some reason, my oh, the cable is a bit loose there. So okay, let's try it. Medium right. There we go. It's such a nice thing. Oh, no, I put that. Uh, it's kind of hard to do it, but... I don't like hairpins though, but yeah. I'm pretty slow right now, but... Well... Yeah, I'm kinda slow now, but it's fine. Okay, another hairpin. No! Oh! Alright then. We just got into the first sector, but... Oh. Maybe I should put it on the shorter gear ratio, to be honest, but, well, that's not the problem right now, it's the car right now, oh, oh bugger, it's hard, but, well, it's a lot easier to control because they, they don't have the auto-correcting magic like Assetto Corsa. Okay, I clip that. Oh. Well, pretty decent though, but still. Not good. Easy right, under bridge. Into crest, jump. Medium left. Oh! Oh, bugger. Into. I don't want to do that again. Yes! I don't want to do that either. Sorry. But, yeah. That will be enjoyable with this, to be honest. Alright, don't cut. I put too much steering there, but well, it's a lot easier. I just have to get used to it because the, there is no force feedback, so it's kind of hard to. Oh! There we go. time but I still have to get used to the steering but it's a lot easier to play than the set of course oh bloody hell um yeah this is kind of intense for a refill so yeah I come in last well I'm not that good oh god 
<laughs> what happened then to my Subaru here? <laughs> oh no, my beautiful Subaru. But, there you go. It's a lot easier with their tree because it doesn't have the auto correction magic that the Assetto Corsa has. Well, it's not really magic, it's some sort of assist, but still. So, yeah. There you go, the review for the Cowboy T600. It's kind of popular between Indonesian player, especially the one who play Euro Truck Simulator for some reason. I'm not too sure why, but it's a thing. And yeah. It's a nice steering wheel. Oh, and it's basically the very basic thing that I can get because it's very cheap. I get this one for around $55 or something. Well, it's made in China and it's no longer in production, but I can show you the website and I'll put the link in the description down below if you want to see more of the cowboy product, which I bought, which is, well, not too sure if all of them are great, all that. It's hard to see my cars like that. Anyway, that's all from me. As usual, if you like my video, hit the like button. If you don't like it, hit the like button. And if you want to see more of my content, then hit the subscribe button right down below. So, yeah. I guess that's it then for this review. Well, at least I have something to use and get used to. At least before I can get a better steering wheel like everyone does. Well, I don't have the money, but this is good for budget at least for me right now it it doesn't have the best immersion but still there's that so yeah i guess thanks for watching and uh, well i cannot get close because there's a string wheel on my front so yeah uh, I'll, I'll, uh, i'll keep my eyes on you Later.